And so in today's video, we'll walk through all four of those steps, starting with first deciding whether you want to enroll in the university's co-op program or not. So uh, here I've pulled up the UBC's co-op program website. Now for those of you who are new to this process, you may be wondering, isn't it pretty obvious if you want a co-op job or an internship that you should apply to the co-op program? Well, the answer is actually not that obvious and I'll answer why. And so the co-op program is marketed to help students get job experiences and help you along the steps along the way. And there are pros and cons to the program and you really have to consider if those apply to you. I think the biggest pros to this program is that it is great for someone that uh, does not have experience um, applying for jobs in the Canadian job market. So perhaps you're not familiar with how to format resumes, how to format cover letters, how the interview process work. Um, and so throughout the co-op program, they will actually have, let me scroll down here. Uh, so here it says our services include interview and network in preparation, pre-employment training before your first co-op work term, uh, and continue support during your entire co-op uh, career, including career coaching, exclusive access to job postings, and access to uh, telephone and meeting room facilities for interviews. Uh, the biggest thing I think is that I've been getting a lot of resumes from people that aren't from Canada, and the resume formatting, um, the structure, the language, same with the cover letters, are completely different than what I've been I would expect from someone who who has been working in Canada. So getting the resume format right is going to be very important for you as a prospective uh, co-op student. So I think that's the biggest pro to it. The cons is that it actually, by enrolling in the co-op program, it does not guarantee you a job. Uh, so I'll actually go to the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions. So, are co-op students guaranteed jobs? So no, securing a job is a competitive process and is not guaranteed. So the first thing that you should know is this, um, you are not guaranteed a job just because you get into the co-op co program. Um, next is that you should know that there is a fee. Um, so I think it, it may depend on whether you're at a, a uh, <coughs> domestic student or an international student. Uh, whether you're a undergrad or a grad student, I think between that it could change. Uh, when I did my co-op program, the fee was around $700 per four month work term. So if I was doing a 12 month work term, that's around $700 times three, um, 2,100 plus you still have to pay your all your other university fees as if you are still attending classes. So there is a big fee that you would have to pay and there's things like the uh, initial workshop that you attend and I think you have to pay for that as well. Uh, so definitely you need to consider the cost for that. Um, another cons is that at least for the mining engineers, I found that a lot of the jobs that they have in their portal, so it's called the PD portal, um, a lot of those jobs you can actually find your own, on your own. So I thought that wasn't super helpful. Um, also by enrolling into the co-op program, you have to do homework throughout your co-op work term, which is really annoying when you're a student, you're working, you do your eight hours of work a day, you come back and you still have to work on an assignment. So that's another thing that I didn't like. And so with all these costs in mind, keep in mind that uh, perhaps your university may offer some of these for free. So for example, the resume reviews, cover letter reviews, the mock interview preparation, you, you may be able to get that services for free somewhere else or at least at a lower cost. Um, but there are things perhaps um, they may help you develop some industry contacts. I still feel like that's mostly work that you have to do on your own. And so it's not as um, a big of a draw as, as you would think. And so the bottom line for the co-op program is I would re really only recommend this to someone that is looking for an easy, all-inclusive, um, all-in-one service. 
uh, for those that are new to Canada and have no idea what a uh, resume format should look like, a cover letter format should look like, um, how the job interview process will work. Um, I actually do have some videos on those topics, um, resumes, how to format your resumes, cover letters, and I can also make a video on what the interview process is like. I will briefly talk about this, but that's the first step is whether decide weighing all these pros and cons is whether you feel like the um, university co-op program is right for you. And maybe just as a um, touch point is that for me personally, if I were to go back and do this all over again, I probably would not do the co-op program just because I already know how to format my resume, my cover letters, how to do these interviews, and I know where to look for jobs. Because And for that reason, I don't want to pay that $700 uh, fee per, per work term uh, just to get these services that I basically already know how to do. Okay, so that's the first step. 